Welcome to Fine Tuning. I'm super glad you're here. This is our first video, Get Your Easiest Band. I've got mine on and let's get started. We're gonna start with some weirdo walks, kind of like we're doing a slow walk, maybe like we're a weird bridezilla bride and we don't wanna do it. So we're coming back, trying just to keep our legs kind of stiff and just get moving forward and back. I'm just gonna do quick forward and back so I can stay in the camera here. <clears throat> you can hear my um, very cool voice and uh, hopefully that'll clear up soon. Anyway, we are just doing some walks, getting our legs a little bit warmed up before we get started. Let's start by doing 10 to one side and then we'll do 10 to the other side. Just easy, getting warmed up. Our fine tuning, I'm gonna keep going to this way so I can stay in the camera here, but our fine tuning workouts are going to be um, not super hard, so you can see my hair's not even in a ponytail, and then 10 to the other side. They are warm up for your run, so if your hair is in a ponytail, that's good because you are getting ready to go for a run. Uh, these are working on things we should be doing to keep our selves in balance. Running gets us muscle imbalances. Let's change this to a march. So our marches, we wanna have our band over our arches. So we're here, standing tall. We're just going to do 10 here. I'll count while I talk. But basically, these fine tuning workouts, we're gonna use our band, we're gonna use them as warm ups for a run. If we do these once or twice a week, it helps us with these smaller muscles, adductors, hips, and um, making sure we can keep gunky, grumpy knees away and keep our glutes engaged so that when we go for a run, everything's warmed up and we are ready to rock. All right, stopping there. Now, our main set today, we are going to do just three exercises. We're gonna go through them three times. The first thing, just like in that glute march, we're gonna do a hold, then we're gonna kick back, and then we're gonna do an exercise that doesn't use the bands. So first things first, let's do a hold. We're gonna hold it for about 10 count. So we're gonna come on up, See how everything's tight? What you think about getting taller? I've already held for three here. Now it's four, five, six, keep going. Nice, tight here, switch sides. All right, other side. So now we're just warming up. Your feet are having to do a little bit of work, right? You should feel that. So if you are in your shoes, these are best to do bare feet. You don't have to switch now, but do it for next time. Okay, stop there. And then we're gonna kick back diagonal. So that's getting our glute mead, which is side butt here. So we're coming back now. Chest is tall. Same thing, abs are tight. It should feel like you're in a plank here. Now, if you are not feeling it in the side of your butt there, um, you might be kicking back too directly or too much to the side. So see if you can adjust that position, not here, but here. Feel that there. All right, it could be that your band is too easy because you're super strong, that's awesome. You can go up in a band for the next round. Last one here. And then let's switch it over. All right, here we go. Now, these are muscles that are clearly on the side. When we're running, we go back and forth. We're not always using those muscles that are controlling us laterally. So we wanna get those involved so that they are strong, not underutilized. So again, happy knees, happy hips, things that all runners have to deal with at some point in their running. And I don't want you to have to deal with that. All right, three, two, you can see everything's still up here, one. All right, take off your band. The last exercise we're doing is um, for our adductors. So think about bringing your leg back in, that muscle. So we are going to be standing tall. This is an exercise like you would see in bar. So for that, you would have um, a bar to hang on to. So if you need something to hang on to, go ahead. What I want you to do is knee comes up and then leg comes in. So you got that two side, two part move up, in, now we're going to pulse that up. So you can see my knee is coming up and my foot is coming up. So I should feel, you should feel it here. I feel it there, but I also feel it in this standing leg. Don't worry, I'm counting. So I am feeling this standing leg because I'm already fatigued there and I'm feeling it in my inner thigh here. Three, two, all right, other side. So this one is obviously something you could do with a band if you had a good anchor point 
However, we're starting this from scratch. This is a series, so every, ex every time it's gonna build on each other. So we're getting used to it just without this. So we'll do it for a couple weeks without any uh, bands or anything. Then we'll work on making it harder by increasing reps and how long we hold it up. Three, two, one. All right, so those were our three exercises. If your band was appropriate, put it back on. If you feel like your band was too easy, then you can get a new one. But we're putting back on for those holds and we're gonna stand nice and tall. So make sure your shoulders are rolled back. Always do our exercises in the best posture you can. Come on up, whoop, come on up. All right, and now we're holding. So we've got our knee up, hips are in balance. We're just holding for a 10 count my 10 count where you can see my fingers flipping out here. We got three, two, okay, other side. Same thing, good. We're in that strong running position. If you want to, you can get your hands into that strong running position. <sighs> Breathe, and three, two, good job. Okay, readjust your band. Now we're standing nice and tall. We're gonna kick diagonal back, so here we go. One, good. We're gonna keep going through 10, nice and slow. Wanna make sure you're feeling it in the right spot. If you're feeling it in the front of your hip, in this glute, that's fine. You're gonna feel it in a weak spot for you. Now we've already done these once, so it's accumulating here. We've got three and two and one. Good, other side. All right, I feel it for sure. I cannot find my easiest band, my yellow band, which is what I normally teach with so I can talk well, but that's okay. Amazon will drop one off. <laughs> but for now, good workout. Three, two, and nicely done. Okay, so the last thing, on this second round is that bar kind of style move where we got our knee up, we got that internal rotation here, and then it might be more like this for you or it might be more like that for you. I want you to feel it in the inner thigh. Here we go, one, two, good. Just keep this going. Keep really balanced. Your glute on this side is tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Super, all right. Remember, this is a warm up for your run, so this is not a super long workout. Doesn't have to be hard, but I wanna take the thinking out of what you need to do pre-workout, post-workout, all the things. So I'm super glad you're joining the Run Boost so you can take the thinking out of it. Three, two, one. Okay, so one more time through, and then you're ready to go for your run. All right, so put this back on. We're back to hips, so getting those nice and warmed up with good runner position, and we're just holding for 10. So we're just chilling out here. Whoa, that was me wobbling, you know, chilling out, wobbling, whatever, trying to stay really tight. And three, two, all right, here we go. Good. When I do those big breaths, it's not to be annoying on the video. It's a cue to you to make sure you're getting in those deep breaths. We don't want to have these shallow breaths. We want to get big breaths while we're doing workout. Keep that good posture. Translates to your run. All right, readjust your band. So now it's around your ankles. Glute med, kick it back. Here we go. We're going 10. Make sure your toes aren't a claw on the carpet. Don't need that. We want to make sure that your foot is sort of relaxed, your toes are um, able to wiggle and spread out. Sort of like a bonus work here. If your shoes are on, again, it's fine, but for this workout in general, we wanna have them shoes off. And three, two, and one, good. Other side, here we go. Good, so same thing. Check your feet. If you wanna quick take a look down at them, that's fine, but our eyes are out for this. We wanna make sure we're having our neck in position that we wanna use when we're running. We never wanna be looking at our feet when we run. We wanna be looking out at the world for trail running about 10 feet ahead so we can anticipate. Three, 
two, and good. Take this band off. And the last thing is coming up for that internal hip rotation here. Adductor, come on up. And here we are. One, two, three, good. If you really squeeze, four, five, you feel it more. You can make it easier or harder. You decide, it's the first time. So don't go super hard. You don't need to injure anything or make it feel like, ah, uh, this is too much. It should be just right. All right, last thing, come on up. And here we are, good. And six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Go for a run, have an awesome day.